What up, Max Boost fans? I'm here. It's me, Dennis Kako, creator of the Max Boost. And if you're there, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up. That'd be great. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. Uh, we do this every Monday. We hang out at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. And uh, we talk about Max Boost, the comic. We talk about tuner culture. We talk about building cars. We talk about projects. We do all this other stuff. And we also give away some free prizes at the end of the show. If you stay from the beginning of the show to the end of the show and you answer pop quiz. So if you're there, please leave me a, uh, a thumbs up so I know. Uh, we started a little bit late. I was trying to get the stuff put together. But um, appreciate you hanging out. And I'm going to try to fix this camera because this camera is doing the... Uh, the thing where it is, I think it's trying to do, um, what do you call it? Uh, what is it doing? The autumn, the auto, where's this? Where's the adjustment? It's doing the automatic zooming, which is, which makes Carl go crazy. So, or automatic, uh, there you go. Use manual focus. Oh, I got it. I fixed it. All right. So anyways, Max Boost, what's up? Everybody excited? I think you guys have heard. It's using manual focus. I don't know what's doing. There. Okay, that should work. Um, yeah. So Max Boost, we are shipping volume twos and all that stuff. So we're going through a few of these uh, test shipments, and then as soon as those test shipments go okay, then everybody else is going to get their shipments in batches. And um, can't wait till you guys read it. It's gonna be really cool to get into the last volume, which it has every single episode of Max Boost. That if you have volume one and volume two, you can have every single episode of Max Boost that was ever in Import Tuner Magazine. So that's going to be cool um, and awesome. So I didn't play any music, did I? We should be playing some music right now. Um, yeah, so anyways, yeah, that's it. And then you guys are going to start reading this pretty soon. I know, I know, I know, I know. It took forever. Um, and uh, so it's been a week. It's been crazy. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't. Yeah. So who said that? Who said that on our Max Boost on our fan page was like, I don't know how you keep your schedule going. Oh, someone made a comment that since I, you know, that's the only way that I can get all this stuff done is because I don't play video games, because I don't have a PS5, I don't have Gran Turismo, I don't have it. That's true. That's why I stay away from video games. It's been years. And I'm part of the Boost Brigade today, along with Walking Tires, uh, just hanging out. So today, a little bit different. Like, <laughs> it was an eventful weekend. Eventful week. I really got to get these videos together, man. Like we got to get this on our, on our YouTube channel. It's an epic journey. This, this whole like Max Boost thing, uh, everything in the background, along with the cars and along with the projects and everything else. It's been, it's been nuts. My, my, my schedule is going to be insane. So hopefully it's entertaining to you guys. I'm going to say hi to everybody that's here. Thank you to all the regulars that are here. If you're not a regular, say, what's up? Just say hi, just leave a comment, do a thing. Right. So, um, Mike S says, Beanie Dennis. This is Beanie Dennis, Boost Brigade. What's up, Jamal? What's up, Dwayne from Oklahoma? Um, and let's see, who's first? Who's first was Mike. Mike was first, man. Uh, <laughs> Twitchy Coon says, this rem that reminds me, I need to buy some tires soon. Absolutely. Definitely got to get some tires. If you get some tires, you got, you know, you know, I always say it, man. Those Falcon tires are badass. They work. You know, I love it. <laughs> so, um, oh. Why is it doing that? Uh, anyways, I'm going to go through my sponsors. Thank you to uh, our sponsors, or supporting sponsors, Auto Cannon Gretty. Sergio Sandoval brought in the 500 bucks in the Max Boost fan club today. Like, um, you guys know this. Uh, he, he, like, one of the, he is one of, definitely one of our sponsors. So just want to say Sergio Sandoval, thank you for that's a five hundred dollar per month pledge that he's doing to sponsor Max Bruce along with Egri. Egri over here with his uh, logo. I forgot. I have to remember what logo that is. But he's at five hundred dollars a month in the fan club as well. And we're just kicking off the fan club. We got packages that are getting shipped. You guys saw that update. So I just want to be clear about that too. I'll talk about it in a second after I finish the sponsors. We got Ibach. We got Track Spec Daily Drivers. That's uh, that's Mike. He was at Daytona, Florida for the twenty four hours of Daytona. Uh, his happy place. Gotta say, what's up to Auto Fashion, Roth Fab, Memo at Save the Eclipse, and Chi Works. We got uh, Sparko. Love those guys over there. Thank you to every them supporting me. Bri Motorsports with BJ. Much love to BJ. He's doing better. Uh, there's some things they gotta deal with, but he's 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 doing better and he's alive. Number one thing. So BJ, if you're listening to this right now, man, 
love you appreciate you and hopefully we can help out there i know there's a lot of things you got to deal with right now so we'll, we'll, we'll uh we're trying to figure that out elite finish and wes over there um balkan tires of course cartoon oh my god they stepped up in the last month two months justin jeff all you guys ricky angel david you guys have just taken care of the max Boost family we appreciate you and um thank you so much <clears throat> and titan 7 ah we got some titan 7 stuff coming up love those wheels the falcon tire titan 7 combination is what's up so let me keep saying what's up to everybody uh patrick davidson 4tt what up hola from 40 40 000 feet My, what oh shoot michael bush is in the air right now he's on a, a flight coming back from florida to to washington i believe right what's up david mcmurtry what up hawaiian c carl what's up man fast tv i welcome everybody and uh kyle kyle in the house anybody need some engraving he's your man <laughs> holograms he's your man uh J jamal just got his extra volume one book how did that happen you're not supposed to get anything jamal gus brooks welcome to the live stream thumbs up the third really you got three gus's in your family bro tell me that's not a middle like a nickname you literally got three gus's like baby gus daddy gus grandpa gus that's pretty cool <laughs> yannick from belgium what's up man mr race car driver himself we got uh, freddy after dark we in here let's get started he's the dj dude hey you got to do some music for us man Fukos. i don't know what that means and maybe i wasn't supposed to say it what does that mean dude gregory what up gregory luis what up tampa bay in the house i gotta go back to tampa bay say so, yeah so anyways yes i say hi to everybody on the live streams i think twitchy already already got you sandy weather be rainy i'm thinking about copping the new falcons lol cop the new falcons um let's take a second to look at one of our sponsors i thought you'd never ask uh falcontire.com no he was not a plant he's legit asking about them let's take some time to look at these tires oh my god they spin on their own and look at that 3d oh wow you ever wanted tires that spin and look like honeycombs you've got them at falcon tires these are the trail trail tire do not put the trail tire on your rsx dude I oh that might be actually really cool to be honest that would be really cool let's do some autocross not autocross what is that called uh uh rally cross yeah there you go some rally cross it's a nice little graphic i'm sure my buddy rich had something to do with this that used to work for auto cannon and now is the uh one of the marketing um top dogs over there at uh, at uh falcon so let's look let's take a look this is what i was telling you right here this is the falcon f fk 510 this is your all-around tire right here that gives you just enough performance just enough what uh, gives you summer ultra high performance uh uh what do you call it uh performance <laughs> anyways these are great tires they actually you know what's funny was we i put these on the track and they're not really track tires per se you could definitely take them to the track i've done it and you'd be surprised they're not that much slower than the than the uh 615s which i think speaks volume for this tire they did something really good with this one something some way somehow it's pretty quick so um and you wouldn't think it because it's got you know good all all around handling tire so this is the tire i get on my personal vehicles the things i'm not ripping on the track with the falcon fk 510 all right and then of course since we're here we might as well look at uh some of the uh i guess other other stuff you guys already know where i'm going um here's my here's here's our uh what do you call it this is our group right here of tires these three right here Falcon, the Azenus 615K Plus tire. I don't know. You thinking about doing that one, Francis? I would daily drive that tire, but you also got to know it's going to, you know, it's going to be a lot of grip, but like cars with a lot of grip, tires with a lot of grip, you're going to run out. But I can drive those in the rains. I'm cool with it. I'm comfortable with it, but I have kind of experience, a little bit of driving experience. And then, of course, if you want to go all the way and your car is basically just to drive at some time of the day, you know, sometimes of the year, not all the time, sorry, the daily driver, the A660 is where it's at. That's maximum um, R compound 
performance that Falcon tires will give you. So these are the three tires I consider on all my cars, okay? So which one are you thinking, Francis? Let me know. Let me know what's up. Where's your brain, where's your mind at? Where's your mind at? Anyways, that wasn't supposed to be a commercial, but I did it anyway. But I do love my, I mean, I'm literally wearing the, that was perfect, actually. How did that happen? Um, let's see. Hey, Dennis. Fred Reed, fan club membership in a little bit to put a water pump on my last car. You do your thing, man. I'm not forcing anybody to be in the fan club. I appreciate you guys for your support. And that is, wait until you see what's coming in that stuff. I'm just glad we're finally going to be shipping some stuff. And we're going to be doing it. So I want to be clear about the fan club. So some people, we had a question about it. One out of, you know, I think a couple of people were confused. And that's fine. I want to fix it. And anything, by the way, I just want to let you know, anybody ever gets upset or whatever, I will give you your money back. I don't care. I'm not trying to have anybody be upset about nothing. So first and foremost, uh, we had a problem getting the this fan club to start on the 1st of January, which we wanted to start at the beginning of the year. Patreon did not charge, so you guys, I asked everybody who still wants the Patreon rewards and to be officially started in the first month, which is what you need to do in order to get the whole yearly, that year bonus at the end. Uh, starts in January, so we can track it. You get charged on the 1st of January, you get the stuff shipped, like right now, at the end of the month. Does that make sense? You get charged on the 1st of the month, and you get the stuff shipped at the end of the month. You pay for that month of not only the merchandise you get, but some of the content that we'll be doing in the middle of it, all right? And then on February 1st, for example, you just got billed again. But that's not for January, that's for February. And we got something we're giving you and we're gonna, we're gonna show you what we're, we don't have it ready right this second. We're gonna build it with you or I'm gonna show you what that is. And you're gonna, it's gonna be pins and posters and all this kind of stuff. And depending on your reward level, you're gonna get that thing. But yeah, that's the way that we wanna design it. So February 1st, you're in. We develop the product with you, then we ship it by the end of February, which I think is cool so that you're involved. Does that make sense? Instead of like, you pay on February, you get stuff shipped on the 3rd of February, then you're like, well, where was your involvement, right? I want you to watch us kind of produce the product or make the poster or whatever, because I think that's cool. And then it shows up on your doorstep at the end of February. I think that's the way to do it, right? So that's what we're doing. So hopefully you're not confused. So everybody got that did it right had, has two charges and you're getting two packages. Getting one right now from January and then the second one in February. Uh, end of February. All right. So um, let's see. Checking in now just so I can sign off and get off to work. <laughs> Thanks, man. Sorry you're going to have to miss the start, Tim. Let's see. What else we got? What up? Zoomies in the house. We've got Boston hat. Which way does that go? Am I going the right way? Wait, the trays go. The eyes go down that way right no that way <laughs> i like the tricky thing is i'm trying to make the eyes go the way that the that his uh, eyes are going but i but if i look that way or that way i can't check the camera or the... i mean you get it is the music too loud i hope it's not chad richards in the house happy birthday and i forgot to say happy birthday to alex samolski last how did we forget, man, to say a happy birthday to Alex and embarrass him somehow? I got you a gift, Alex. Don't you worry. You get it in the mail somewhere. Chad got a big gift today. Huh, Chad? Dang. Jen. Oi. What's up? Uh, and let's see who else is in here. I'm just trying to look for names. I don't know if you're asking questions. Michael Bush. Oh, yeah, you're 40,000 feet in the air. We've got... Whoo. Hola, man. And the 86 uh, FRS or whichever one that is, we've got, uh, let's see. Jamal, since I haven't. You better eBay that for like 150 bucks. Did I just. I gave that to you as a gift. Re gifting stuff. Let's see. Let's see. What else we got? What is that? Oh, so Twitch is looking at the Zenith. Which ones, though? The 615s? Ooh, I like the tread pattern. Uh, Underground Eye, what's up? Elbow cough. What, what? <laughs> Michael Bush. 660 is the only way. But Michael Bush is like, you go all the way all the time. Everything. That's why he's been in the emergency room like three times in the past three days or whatever. What up? Dude. Read. In the house. 
510 looks dope okay cool that'll that's the best tire for just all around longevity day-to-day -day driving that's the tire you usually get unless you're crazy like me and i'll drive on a race tire or track tire but <clears throat> let's see you guys a lot initial days what up man dennis you may want to check out what i made on instagram regarding what i want to see it hold on a second let me go see if i could check this what did you make and uh, let me see if i can even see it on instagram using the computer but you must have tagged me in it right oh 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 what is this what that's tight all right let me see i'm gonna show you guys so initial da day das? days um that's sick excuse me check it check it check it out on instagram we got the midori right here auto cannon status nice uh gt oh wait no need for speed which one is this one i decided i decided to make the tribute ma car to max boost in need for speed love it expect to see more of these tribute replica builds from me soon nice dude thank you man that's eight out of ten right there just kidding it's awesome can you do an animation where it's like moving and driving can you i don't play video games anymore because i'm lame but there's a way right you can get it animated or drive it you drive you can drive it right so there's a way to record it right sorry man i'm sorry i'm behind on all that stuff yeah so everybody's like happy birthday chad happy birthday chad yep 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 <laughs> Two to my expensive i enjoy the bank but i'm supporting like again you are the fan club yannick you got all the fan club toys all the race cars oh man uh how did crap it doesn't fit my 16 inch wheels what do you have twitch what do you got like 10 inch wide wheels yeah jamal starting to save up for a car i keep thinking of you every time i see cars i really think you should get an fa or an fg2 that i have like made official guys so i made official to anybody that asked me dennis what kind of car should i get for the track or for like um just like a, like a first car or if you want a front wheel drive of course i'm gonna say honda and the second thing i'm gonna say is now i've made it official fa5 fg2 it's got a k-series motor in it and a capable chassis the chassis is awesome suspension's good dialed in figured out you get some wide tires under those uh, under those fenders even without necessarily um, having to go wide and they just perform and you get the k-series and you get the six speed Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I say F.A. I've been trying to get Jamal to buy one. Let's see if Jamal ends up getting one of those. F.A. or an F.G. 2. I know I'm not a fan of the F.G. 2. Obviously, I have an F.A. right now, which was quite a lot of work. But that's my going to be my official answer now moving forward. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? 16 inch. Dang. <laughs> Why and say says, uh, Hey, initial Daz, you need to put an import model on the Max Boost car. 205-55-16. What? Excuse you. Oop. I hate this. Let me see. Let's see. Where was it? Balkantire.com. Let's find you some tires right here, dude. Let's see. Whoops. Uh, tires. And passenger car tires. So what doesn't fit the FK the 510s? Don't fit? Dude, there's a lot of sizes. Oh, you don't got six they don't have 16s in the 510s anymore? No. Okay, well then get some bigger wheels, dude. <laughs> you always gotta go. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I don't go bigger either. I got small ass wheels. Um Yeah, so anybody ever Look at tire sizes and stuff. It's a crazy, crazy thing to try to find the right tire size and fitments for. I just realized, man, like in racing, it's easy because we just know like what racing sizes fit and what wheels to get. But when you start to get into like more like, I don't know, street cars and different kinds of fitments and looks, you can do a lot of things. So they don't have 16s. Okay. You know what they have 16s in though? Bang. Right here, dude. You're just going to go all the way. There it is, 16. Didn't you say 215, 45, 16? You're good to go, bro. Right here. 
You can get some 615s and step up. Be a real man or a real woman. I'm, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to leave anybody out. You can be whichever one you want to be these days, okay? So... <laughs> just messing around. But, um, yeah, isn't that what you want? 205, 50... You want 55s? 225, 50... 205, 50... What? Why do you want 205 55s? Why don't you go 220 205 55? You want a tire that tall, bro? Ah, uh, okay. You're gonna angle to get an SCI at the end of the year, and I just want to have a little bit more fun out of the race out of the car. Well, a little bit of fun would be a, a Zenith. Just stuff them in there. All right, so it looks like uh, Michael Bush is talking about uh, his... He was in the trauma center, apparently, while he was at Daytona for the 24 hours of Daytona, his happy place. And he ended up in the trauma center, apparently. Michael Bush don't mess around, dude. Anything goes wrong, he goes really wrong. He, like, tries to, tries to die and stuff. Stock wheels, LMAO. I don't know what's wrong with 16s by, let's go 225.50s. What's wrong with that? They don't fit? I don't know anything about the RSX. I'll try to get you some, but um, anyways. <laughs> Wine said he's still climbing. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right. So yeah, we're just looking at cars, tires. Jaden says he has found his infamous gold pin in your mailbox today. Congratulations. That's like the gold ticket in Willy Wonka. Congratulations. <clears throat> Same size as your tires, Nizumi. Cool. Yeah, so Michael Bush can explain what happened if he wants. I don't want to get up into his business. But that's why I didn't say anything until he said something. Uh, yeah, but he did say this. Uh, have some really bad muscle pain from the seizure, but doing okay. Michael Bush had a seizure, dude. Ugh. He, you had, you had, I don't want to talk about your personal stuff, but he, let's just say he was in the hospital the other day <laughs> for something else, and it's like, man, he still went out of 24 hours. Did you stay up the whole time, too? For, at Daytona? Probably did. <clears throat> so, Sam Rothschild in the house, bro. What up? I don't know. We're just kicking it today. I have like no plans for what we're doing today other than hanging out. I need some friends right now. Need some hugs because we had some crazy week. I don't know, man. I don't got video for you guys today. I did. There's no way. Me and Mister. Me. I'll just give you a little hint. Me and Mike Servin. Saturday, Sunday. Well, we were hanging out Sunday, yesterday, uh, in LA, picking something up. And then he, on Saturday, he had to pick something up. But I'm gonna tell you something. Okay, I was talking about this with Mike, and I was like, so everybody likes. I I, I feel like I have to put an image up. Where's my Where's my phone? I'll put an image up right now. So um. Let me just show you something. What should I show you? Show you. Give me a second. But yeah, I I have been questioning the sanity of building cars. Am I the only one, or what, dude? Like, it's been bonkers, right? I don't I don't really have anything to show you right now. Let me see. I don't know what I want to show. Blah 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 blah. Okay, maybe this one. All right. Oh, because I, I guess I'll talk about it. But I wanted to show a video, but I'm going to talk about this. We'll put this on, we'll put this on uh, the live stream. <clears throat> and let's see if I can punch this in somewhere. Be good to me. Be good to me. Boop. Did it work? Did it work? Ta-da. No? So weird. Huh? I don't 
gonna make that fit. All right, so, um, hmm, that's as wide as it's gonna go. Weird. That's weird. Okay, so I don't, I don't know how to make it like. I guess that's the best I can do right now. That's kind of messy. Let me get a better Falcon background then. There you go. <laughs> this is total hacking, kids. All right, so let's just talk about project cars a little bit. I need to have a little bit of a gripe. You guys have seen, you guys have been a part of it. No one else has. I don't post it on Instagram. Nobody knows what we've been going through in the projects. And even you guys, you guys know enough, but definitely, obviously, you guys aren't there every day watching what kind of stuff we're going through on the projects. Um, and uh, in, let's see. So, sorry, I just saw a comment right now. Hey, let's check out your episode today. We're going to go check out episode one on Fast TV. We're going to play a little bit of it i don't want to get youtubed but we're going to make sure we do that everyone remind me so we're going to check out fast tv um so yeah from javier right and uh uh before i get into it michael bush didn't make the full 24 hours because of the seizure oh, okay i thought it was after you were done we went back to rest a bit and watch and i fell asleep because of the low blood oh shoot you're doing okay now just flying home watching mbm right on man Ah, Sam Rachel has some good news. CRX is ready for the track. Hold on a second. See, now I gotta write notes because there's like things I want to show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. Let's let's talk about Sam CRX in a second. We got Sam CRX. We're gonna look at uh, Fast TV, and then I'm just gonna do a pretty quick gripe right now, dude. What is up with building cars? How many of you in the comments like like type in yeah I you know you build. Like you feel like you're you're a car like you build your car like you source like parts. I'll give you an example like Michael M Michael Bush obviously they're building cars. Uh, my servant little itty bitty things here and there building car. I mean he all the way down to the armrest. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Or trying to find some freaking part that's not sold at the dealer anymore. You gotta go find it. You gotta hook up with a guy that had like all that kind of stuff. Who of you tinkers like at that level? And I'm not talking about a guy who just like. Like I used to, where it's just kind of like, I don't know, I'll just give you an example. And this is not a bad thing, Dwayne. I'm just saying, Dwayne, I think you kind of try to keep your 350 stock and you're not messing with it. Okay, cool. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about which one of you guys is doing what I've had to do in the last two months with everybody. I'm not just me alone. I have to source parts, motors, like um, put in like, uh, no, no, find like suspension components, uh, bushings, rear trailing arms, like freaking parts. Like, who does that? Like, who's who's currently doing that? Like, yeah, you're building some old-ass car, like an A86, like Fast TV saying, I know you do, man, for sure. He's got 71 Skyline. Okay, so see? that There's no way around it. You have to. What I'm talking about is it's a pain, man. There's my gripe. I Do any of you enjoy it? Like, do you really like, like, let me give you an example. I'm not going to tell you what we were trying to find, but we needed a part, or a part became available that AJ, Automotive Jesus Soto, told me Dennis you gotta get this part for the Midori Civic right and I'm like oh snap maybe right and then and then you go into this whole thing use parts you can't buy it new there's there's no way to buy this new this thing new it doesn't exist anymore. so then now you start hitting up this guy right you guys ever hunt for freaking treasure it's like that right and so so hunting for this treasure you're hoping the guy replies to you. You ask him a question and you already know like 50 other people are asking him for the same part that you're trying to get. So now you're like competing with other people. You don't know if he cares about you. You message him, he replies like five hours later, something like that, right? You guys deal with this? Like I haven't dealt with that in years. And back when I was in, the, you know, doing this in the 90s, we didn't have to deal with that because this stuff actually existed at the dealership. <laughs> I could get an Integ Integra anything at the dealer. I didn't have to deal with some guy named Joe Blow on internet that can't even spell a sentence correctly like spell a word correctly and has a run-on sentence in his description of this part that i really need right so i'm just hitting people up and i'm just like do i do i do i get my like the, how do they know i'm serious i want to get the part all this stuff and then it ended up coming down to this it's like they didn't reply to me didn't reply to me didn't reply to me not really or slow or whatever and then eventually it happens where he replies he's like well i'm gonna sell it 
I'm gonna sell it, like give you an example. I'm gonna sell it tomorrow at 9 a.m. Someone's gonna go look at it. So if you want it, you gotta get it now. I'm in San Diego. This guy's not in San Diego. He's up like two hours away. And I'm like, how am I supposed to go get it? And this guy just like, I've been talking to you the whole time, man. How can you not think I'm serious about getting it? And then now you're gonna tell me I can't get it. Unless I do this right now while I'm with my family at home and all of that, right? You guys like dealing with that? Do you guys like building these 90s Hondas or 71 GTR, whatever, whatever it is you got? Like, Michael Bush says it sucks. It's a pain in the ass, especially when you're like, want to get like very specific things that don't exist anymore. And Michael Bush got a few of those types of things. <laughs> My cat says it's a pain and it hurts so good. Luckily, your car is a great result of things, I guess, going right, but you also got to deal with these guys. Chad enjoys it. What are you talking about, dude? Have you even tried to get something like a, a 90s anything? Did you do it back in the day, Chad? I'm not talking about stuff that's like currently available. Like, like your Mustang's a lot newer, so it's a little easier. Um, but uh, Michael Bush, do it. Are we are we building kit? Yes, you are. <laughs> Michael Bush says deadlines are the bane of my existence. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, going full Baja. I guess it's part of the life at Max Boost. I guess. All right, well, it seems like you guys are down, but who does it? Do you guys do it? Who does not do it? Who does, like, leave a comment and tell me you do not do it so I know that there's enough people that are just like, screw it, man. I'll bring my car to the tuning shop, drop it off, it comes back done. You know, maybe you waited for a part. Boo-hoo, right? No, that's easy. Like, ordering a part, and it's like, yeah, maybe they said two weeks, it took three or four or five. No, but you're dealing with Joe Blow on the corner of 5th and 34th, hoping you meet him at 2 o'clock with the stuff, bringing cash, that old thing. So Mike Servin, this is why it comes up. So that part isn't available. Or the part has to be bought right now or he's going to sell it at nine, you know, 9 in the morning. So what do I do? I can't, I'll call up Mike. I'm like, yo, Mike. Yo, Mike. You busy right now? That's what that was my question. <laughs> and he sends me pictures like this, dude. <laughs> He's busy. <laughs> and I'm all, I know, but He's like with friends, he's with his girlfriend on a Saturday night, hanging out. And I'm like, dude, can you do me a favor? And he's like, what? And so we send him. So I'm like, bro, there's a part. We should do this. We should, we should, we should show him, right, Mike? I don't know, dude. I don't know if I want to show the pictures because it's gonna be bad. It's gonna, nah, I don't know. It could be. It could come back to haunt us, dude. Because uh, let's just say, let's just say, I go, yo, here's a part that we're looking for. He's like, wow, okay. Uh, and you gotta get it now. I'm not there. You're closer to Long Beach. Can you go get it? And it's like, let me think. Like he's gotta like get. He wasn't prepared for it. He's got to tell his friends. He's got to get a friend to do it. He was drinking, so he needs someone else to drive. He's going to go get it. I said, dude, you got to get it. He's like, not going to be available till past like 1030. And it was like already 8 o'clock or 830 or something like that. Mike was trying to figure out how to make it happen. And then he checked the post on Facebook. And then he was smart enough to check the profile of the guy who's selling it. And we ended up finding out, like, I think he noticed that the, that the, that the address was in the middle of Long Beach, LBC. <laughs> Mike Smart. So he, he Googled the address and he looked at the house. <laughs> He's like, dude, I don't know if I want to go there at night. I'm like, man, you got to do it for the Max Boost fam. I was like, Just bring your homeboy. And his homeboy was down to go. And then even funnier, he, he was smart enough to check the profile of the guy selling it. <laughs> and it was awesome he said it to me he's all dude this is the guy you're trying to have me pick up these parts from you know what is ma that main profile that the, the, the top strip of the Facebook profile was it's a huge mound of cash <laughs> from Long Beach dude and then his little circle avatar was gang signs and like <laughs> and some gold <laughs> I was like, Mike's like, dude, I'm gonna get killed picking up this part. I'm all, it's worth. This is what, this is what it's all about. 
You gotta get that part, bro. He's like, I don't think I want to do this. Can I just do it in the morning when there's daylight? I'm like, no, dude. He's gonna sell it in the morning. But Mike came through. Got his homeboy, and they both went out there. He's like, I ain't going in his house. I'm like, what's wrong, dude? He seems nice. <laughs> he seems nice. What's wrong, man? I'm sure Mike's leaving some comments right now. Uh... Let's see, let me hit some focus on this. There you go. So, oh, hey. All right, let me see. There you go. All right, so, um, yeah. So he ends up somehow pulling it off where he lets the guy, the guy's like, I don't want to leave my house. I, want, I don't want to pick all this stuff up and put you anywhere else. You can come to the house, right? So Mike ends up somehow, some way, convincing this dude to go meet him at Target or was it Starbucks at like 11 o'clock at night. He came back alive. He's like, am I about to get robbed right now? Because <laughs> the guy knows you have more, you know, all that money in cash. <laughs> oh, I love you, Mike. Mike got that done, though. Mike got it done. Oh, my God. Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> Wasn't in the safest place. Definitely drug money. That's what I think. That's what I think, man. Do it for the gram. He did it. So we got this part. So you guys got to remember this day, though. It was it was definitely worth it. I think you guys will get a kick out of it when you see what the part is. And no, it's not one of those little handy things that uh, Mike normally that, that Mike had. It's not. But wait until you see what it is. I think it's gonna be epic when we finally get it done. All right. So that's just Saturday. And then Sunday. I've been trying really hard to get something and the guy's never like barely replied to me for five, six days. I thought there's no way it's going to happen. And this is a s seriously big thing. And I'm like, dude, it would help us so much in this project if we get it. I mean, it was like meant to be. It's like fate, right? And so, yeah. So last minute on Sunday morning, the guy gets back to me. He's all, dude, I'll be available at two o'clock. Or I think it was, yeah, I think it was that morning, right? Or was it the day before? I forgot. But it's like 2 o'clock. Oh, yeah, the day before, he goes, 2 o'clock, make it. I'm in San Diego. It's in L.A., downtown, near downtown. So what did I do? I'm like, I can't make it. So I'm like, Mike, what are you doing? <laughs> On Sunday, he's all, dude, I just picked something where like 12 hours ago, 8 hours ago. Anyways, so I decided to go up there with him. And that was pretty epic. But if things go right, which they're not complete just yet, you guys will see what we did. And it'll be a huge part of the projects that have been accomplished. But we had to, I had to drive all the way to L.A. I had to ask the wife if it was okay and time away from the kids and everything else to go hook up with Mike and go do this other thing. So there's two things this weekend that we got. Remember, number one and number two. Number one, I may not tell you what it is for a while. But number two, you're going to know pretty soon, I think. So anyways... Yeah, had to take my time the whole entire Sunday to go up there, check this thing out, and then come back. And we still don't even have it. We got to figure out how to get it over to San Diego. So my gripe was, do you guys like doing that stuff? Needing parts and needing to have like the person people reply to you. I like, you know, I'm starting to get to the place where I want nothing used. I'm just going to buy everything new. New stuff, order it. Don't have to deal with anybody. Just a store and be done with it. What do you guys think? <laughs> uh, you mean uh, uh, Lotting Park? Dude, you went to Lotting Park, bro. Functional part or accessory? Oh, uh, very functional. No accept. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't send him for an accessory per se. <laughs> Engine part <laughs> or body? See, that's more like it. There you go. But did you die? Sam said, absolutely. There you go, man. So Mike says, he sent me to one of the worst parts of Long Beach in East LA <laughs> the next day. <laughs> I pick them good, dude. I pick them good. Let's see what else we got. All right, so what is going on? Here you go. You guys have probably seen the photo. Let me post it up right now. Um...
Let me see, let me see, let me see. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. All right. You got, I'm going to show Sam's car. Uh, this is one photo. Yeah, actually not the best photo ever, is it? Um, there you go. Bam. So this is Mike's. This is Sam's. Uh, CRX. I've driven this car. It is the loudest car I've ever driven in my entire life. I'm going to put up this side. Um, it is the loudest car I've ever driven in my entire life. It is a championship winning H2 CRX with a K series motor in it. It's actually the K series base. It's K20A. Right? Two? A? I don't remember. But uh, it's, you know, it's a little massaged, but for the most part, it's fast because Sam drives fast. And um, just Sam let me drive it is one of the things that got me back into Max Boost. He let me drive this a couple of years ago when I started coming back to the track. Put me back in a race car. I wasn't ready. Um, I, 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 yeah, his, this car is not easy to drive. Just Let's just say that. But anyways, it's been out of commission for how long, Sam? How long has it been out of commission, dude? It's been like, I think, two years out of commission. He let everybody else win the championships. Now he's coming back to do a few races, go punch people in the throat a few times, and then leave again. Last time we were in the car, he actually brought out to... Uh, VTEC Club event, he actually won his class. Um, had one of the fastest times in the entire day. I think he's either the first fastest or second fastest time in a little CRX. Uh, I got to drive it too. Yeah, I'm more ready for it now. It took me a, like a year or so of driving to get ready to get, get back, to get into a car like that again. Race cars are not easy to drive. They're just not. And so, uh, not good ones. Um, so, this one takes a little bit of taming when you drive it. But Sam's back in action, man. It's been two years, right? Um, yeah, two years. Louder than F1 loud? I think so, dude. Okay, so how loud is this car? You need... This is not even, this is not even enough to say this. You need earplugs when you're in this car. And I don't talk, I'm not talking about the foamy ones. You don't need... Like, the foam ones? Forget it. You're done. I'm talking about the ones that, like, conform to your ear. I got the ones that have to... Uh, you press into your ear to cover, like... I don't know... Uh, like construction or whatever. This thing, I, I, how many decibels is in this car? Like 150? I don't even know. When you're sitting in the cockpit of the car, the exit of the exhaust is under your butt. And the way that the hatch in a CRX, when it's empty, just resonates sound like uh, you won't believe. So you have to wear these earplugs. Now, Sam warned me. And so I did. I bought some, I got some earplugs. I started driving around. While I was driving around this not so easy to drive CRX, the earplugs slipped. A little bit I slowed down and even slowing down I could barely drive the car without it destroying my ear like I wanted to drive one-handed like this covering my ear is that bad it is gut-wrenchingly loud and it will just like I, w I had ringing for like three weeks Uh, what are we talking about? Michael Bush says, let's just say the bars on the windows and doors had bars to protect them from being stolen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Are you used custom radio? Otherwise, your ears are... It's not just ringing, bro. That's not ringing in your ear. That's losing your hearing. If you ever hit Fat Burger in Compton, my picture is on the wall for eating the fat... Mo what? Oh, this is a challenge. It's Javier, right? If you ever hit the fat burger in Compton, my picture's on the wall for eating that the fat dude, we gotta do it. Who's down? Who's down to go to Compton at Fat Burger to go see this picture, dude? I'm super down to do that. Who's hood enough? <laughs> that's goddamn that sounds hood or good. <laughs> Watts. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. To post it on the Max Boost fan page, and then we got to do a thing where we go out to go get it. You got to go see it. That is crazy. I'd love to see it, man. Let's go do it. Do we get a prize for, for doing it? Or maybe I should give a prize to someone who's going to go do that. Compton, though. Compton. Anyway, so this uh, CRX that we have over here, Sam drives it. Uh... What I think, I think if I remember, Sam, you're running on Tane's, Tane suspension that's like custom valve for him, custom spring rates. Uh, he's got a K-Series in there. I think Busy helped them build it. I don't know. 
Uh, Sam built the car like he is a fabricator, so he built the uh, roll cage and all the goodies in there. It's got an AEM um, fuel management system. Uh, it's really dope, and it's got a little uh, max custom max boost uh, screen that pops up that I did for him when he raced at the Circuit of the Americas for the Honda Challenge Championships uh, in Texas. Like, was it almost two years ago? He's got the one of the craziest photos, dude. Sam, if you got that photo of you going like sideways, can you text that to me so I can share it with everyone? If you got that like handy, I have no idea where that photo is, but check out how Sam, Sam is crazy, dude. He drives like a, like a madman. And he, I, I was his first instructor. So, um, anyways, yeah, so car's fast, it's fun. Uh, I think at Button Willow, it does a 150 something. Uh, what did you say, Sam? Like a 156, 55? in a CRX on still DOT approved tires. So Sam's fast. And um, <laughs> Twitch is like, I want that fat burger. Okay, bu busy tuned it, Sam built it. Let's get that right. Um, <laughs> Fred, Fred's got stuff all over around him. Did you get that e EG, bro? Fred, did you get that EG? Sup, SMA? 013 that makes me think is it what does that stand for i see my my car brain goes s13 what sort of legendary burgers do we have in sd yeah oh sam's got the photo it's on its way let's talk about some we're just randomly talking right now so anybody if you're just dropping into max boost mondays and you've ever been here we just talk car stuff talk about the comic Talk about today's extremely random. I'm okay with it being random today. This is the nuttiest weeks, dude. I can't wait to have the videos going because it's just oh shoot. All right, prepare yourself. This is like a legit. This is uh, during qualifying or the race, Sam. Check this picture out. This is real. Doesn't someone have like a, a super high res photo of this thing? It is amazing. Dude. I'm gonna put this in my permanent collection of overlays. Let's do this. Check that. <laughs> How badass is that? <laughs> that is real. That's no joke right there. That's no joke. That's Sam. Told you you can drive. Um, yeah, did he break the car? Yeah, but he went all the way. Look at the number too. He runs 5.9. That's our traditional number from hardcore original shift gear auto cannon days. So Sam um, basically, um, what do you call it? He adopted that number after I ran it. Stayed in the family. So 5.9 is in our family. <clears throat> and you'll see the 5.9 number on Mr. Uh, Mr. Michael Bush's uh, S2000, I believe, right? We're going to put that number on your S2000, right, Mike? You're going to see the auto cannon love on that. Max Courage. <laughs> Full send, dude. Yes, that gives you flashbacks of flipping your CRX on the 91. You flipped it? Sam's flipped his, too, on the, on the racetrack at Button Willow, man. Yeah, dude. He's just hanging out, kids. Yeah, let's look at that again. <clears throat> you and Sam will definitely get along, dude. Love Sam. Sam's Sam's family. Mike family. Ooh, so he so this CRX does a 156 at Button Willow in H2 trim. That means with with his weight penalties, he's got like 75 pounds in weight or some. I don't know how much paint, it, paint weight do you have in there, Sam? He's got massive pieces of weight in there. Can you imagine taking those out? But why would a CRX in God's yeah? It's not supposed to go 155, dude. Sup, Fly Air, Max Boost Fam. Maka Bush said, I think we settled on 599. 
Either way, we ran both numbers so that two cars can run. 5 9. <laughs> so when we have meetups again, trying to figure out where we can all meet up, we can have, gotta have nice burgers. So we're talking about burgers right now. Let's talk about burgers for a second. Um, what burger do I like in San Diego? What burgers do we eat in San Diego? I'm trying to think. Dang, there's some something comes to mind. Well, I mean, Burger Lounge is pretty popular for people that want the not so like well there's yeah hodads for some reason people love never been i'm not i mean i've been and i wasn't super impressed um everyone from the east coast is probably waiting for us to say uh in and out which is in and out's like a fast food spot dude i don't want me to insult anybody but it's not like a restaurant right it's it's fast food here's some hodads right here uh usually you have to wait like i think half an hour or so to eat at hodads uh, let me go show you guys a little bit of this. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll still eat it right now. It's all good. This is in the middle of Ocean Beach. It's very much a uh, hole in the wall. So you come to San Diego. It's a good spot to come hang out. <clears throat> and uh, come eat. Come eat some of these uh, good burgers. In a good loca in a fun location. Good peeps. So, yeah, I had one. I wasn't super impressed, to be honest. But maybe I just need to try it again. I'm down to try it again. Um, uh, where, what location is there? There's multiple locations, but this is one of those legit, like, if you know San Diego, you know Hodads, nobody talks about it, unless you know what's up. Alright, so, there's a little bit of, uh, San Diego stuff, so one day, man, maybe we'll do a thing where we plan to have people come out when, when all of this is over in, like, five years. We can all hang out in San Diego someplace. I, we would have been doing this already, we've been hanging out, like, once every couple months or something, at least. Go hang out at some joint, Max Boost family style. That have been really cool, man. I, that's one of my dreams right now. I can't wait to do that with you guys. Um, so what else we got? We got uh, a place called uh, Burger Lounge. Let's see. Uh, now open. This place is pretty good. I like it. It's consistent. It's uh, like grass-fed, healthy-ish kind of style. Um, where is the pictures? Yeah, see, gra original grass-fed burger is what they say. And then their locations look pretty cool. Th this looks a little bit more like a franchise than it's supposed to. I think there's, it's, a, it's a little bit... That almost looks like fast food, and it's not. Why does it look like a fast food joint? That does not look... does not feel a burger loungy. But they, they definitely have their franchise going, that's for sure. Look at how, how far they've expanded. Um... But I think when I first started eating there, they only had like a few locations, if I remember correctly. But they have stuff like, am I just making everybody hungry? Um, they're known also for their, uh, oh, dude. Okay, I gotta do a burger. Oh, dang. Okay, I'm hungry. Turkey and chicken, but they have like kind of odd um, things. They have, well, vegan, uh, fish. But where's the crazy stuff? Don't they have like, only beef? What? They used to sell like... I think like ox and other things. And that was what they were known for. I guess they don't do that anymore. Hmm? Mm. Yellowfin tuna steak. What is this? Oh, this is pretty cool, guys. They have something called the Cornerstone there. Corner store there. And they started that during quarantine. Where you could buy like a box that's good for four burgers. Uncooked. You go home and you cook it yourself with your family or whatever. I would love to do that. Actually, if my wife's listening, we should do that. Um, that'd be fun. And you and you just make it yourself at home. I, I, oh, I wanted to do that and I just totally forgot. Dude, that looks good. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go check out. I know you guys are okay with doing random stuff. It's not like I care about my watch count. I care about you guys being entertained and always, always about the the fam. And I think you guys are interested in random stuff that has nothing to do with Max Boost. But let's do uh, Slater's 50/50. Let's go, San Diego. Okay, this place has some pretty cool combinations of burgers. 
Bacon's burgers, beer, and booze. All the bees you need. I don't know why. Uh, is my screen not showing the top half of this? Why not? Oh, weird. Okay. Bacon's burgers, booze. Booze. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let me see. Let me try to fix this. Oh, I got a thumbs up for that. Someone wants this. Oh, shoot. That's one way to do it. Okay. All right. That's better. Uh, I learned something today. Okay, so uh, bacon burgers, booze, dine-in, Slater's 50-50. Oh, what the heck? Um, and then let's see, let's see some pictures. Do you got pictures of food? Ooh, so here. Oh, look at this. So these guys get creative. So they got the the first one on the list is the sriracha 50-50 burger. You got the highbrow burger, Black Canyon Angus beef. Have you ever heard of Black Canyon? Me either, but it sounds cool, right? Um, sriracha's 50-50. Let's see. Beef, bacon, sriracha bacon, pepper jack, sriracha, and more. I don't want to click on that yet. What? Here you go. Black Canyon Angus beef. This is... I'm telling you, if you've never had one of these, it's got to be... It's good, dude. I haven't had this one, but I like peanut butter in burgers. I think we should make Max Boost like this food because I think that'd be funny, right? Because I like it. Peanut burger. Has anybody had peanut butter in a burger? So Black Canyon, Black Canyon Angus beef, thick cut bacon, natural peanut butter, and strawberry jelly on a honey wheat. And I'm doing, uh, I'm doing that right now. Dude, I'll meet you there, Francis. Let's go. Twitchy Coon. Let's go get it. Who? Oh, wait. There's vanilla ice cream in it. <laughs> How did I miss that right now? Okay. Um, no, I don't. I'm not going to. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. Who's down to try this? In the comments, tell me if yay or nay. Yay or nay. Who would try this right now? PB and Jealousy. It's got ice cream in it. It's got peanut butter and jelly and bacon. What's that got to taste like? Dude, that is awesome. I got to go. For sure. For sure. Ooh. My wife is here. Food segment? Are we hungry? Yes. Max Boost. This is Max Boost's favorite burger. I, I, oh, dude, we got to do that. We got to create a Max Boost burger from a person who owns a, a restaurant that we know that could be a Max Boost fan. And then I can design a burger that's specifically like what Max Boost would eat in Motorville. That'd be really cool. <laughs> Mike asked the three Bs. Burgers, babes, and shark tacos. <laughs> Ah, uh, and my wife is here. Yay. And, uh, yeah, we have Tuckies. I'm, I'm hungry. Man, we're making us so hungry right here. See? We, if we could all hang out. Corvette Diner. Blue XP. Yes, Corvette Diner. So we'll take a look at Corvette Diner. Ooh, Kyle. I don't know this one. We're going to check out Kyle's. All right, let's go to, uh, so Slater's 5050. Let's look a couple more. But you kind of get the, the 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 hint here. This is near the airport of San Diego, uh, at a place called Liberty Station. So uh, I've only been once, and I had uh, I had I believe it was a chicken and waffles burger. So you got the original 5050 backyard classic. B B B B. Hey, look, there's more B B B bacon. B beef bacon bacon <laughs> and bacon. <laughs> that is awesome. There's bacon. Bacon and bacon. Sunny side up egg. That sounds like a breakfasty style. You got bacon chili crunch right here. Black Canyon Angus beef topped with melted cheddar. Dude. All right. So Liberty Station would be a great place for us to meet as a Max Boost family one day when we get to come out to San Diego. They also have like um, uh, stone breweries out here. For some of those who may know the alcohol, they have a brewery. with a, It's a beautiful location. Unfortunately, their food has kind of went downhill. It's still good enough, but they used to be impeccable on the food side, and uh, I don't know why they dropped off, but uh, but it's all right. They're okay. And then uh, you got your appetizer. All right, so we got it. We got to uh, check out. I don't know if we've ever done this much food ever on this show. Hey, we're always open to new things, right? So uh, we were supposed to look at um, Corvette Diner. So this is a great place. This is where I would definitely be taking um, my son and uh the old location was really cool in hillcrest but unfortunately 
um, they've had they moved out of that old location um, and uh, I don't know if this is a very good website but let's take a look it's not a good representation it almost looks like it's just a kitty joint which yeah it sort of is but but it isn't it isn't there's more to it and so the girls dress up you know 50s uh, style there are Corvettes inside um, on display at Corvette Diner it's owned by uh, the Cohn Restaurant Group, which is a, a very uh, successful San Diego-based family that builds uh, really cool um, restaurants out here and great food. Um, it's good. It's just a fun place to bring. My son loves it because they got an arcade in there, uh, which is separate from the dining area. So it's not like you're eating and there's a bunch of video games around you. So it's like completely separate, which is I think is good. Got lots of loud music. They have different. They have different um, rooms. So like the room back there in the corner that I'm covering right now that you cannot see. There's a corner room that's dark and it's all like blacklit, so you can eat in blacklight. There's another one that looks like you're almost in a old 50s cafe, um, uh, like train car, like train uh, car. And then the middle is a little different. It's kind of more of what you see right here with the Corvettes in it. And then they got the arcade, like I said. This would be a fun place to go. And this is actually the very first place I ever had a peanut butter burger. So, um, the virtual tour. Yeah, see, oh, that's cool. Look at that. So there you go. It's kind of like, it looks a little candy shoppy here. But it is cool. It's decked out, theme style. And you got the uh, gamer's garage. This is where my son loves playing. Oh, yeah, we were playing on this right here on the right. What are those little rolly bolly things? I, I just destroyed that game. <laughs> For whatever reason, I was able to land over and over and over again. Like the, 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 the top left 10,000.1, the hard one to get on the top left. It's actually not the center. It's like the top left one that's supposedly the harder one to get. I don't know. I... I don't know how I did it, but I started to nail it like almost 100% of the time. And I just kept playing and playing and playing and playing. And it, didn't, it wasn't stopping. I had the highest score ever, oddly enough. We just had to walk away from it. Yeah. So, all right, let's look. What else was the new one? Let's get that other one that I, I'm very curious to see. Who recommended Rocky's Crown Pub on Ingram? Rockies Crown Pub on Ingram. I don't know if does that count like little pubs and stuff because some of the best burgers are from places like um, like little pubs and stuff that are little hole in the walls. I guess that counts, you know. Rockies, let's see what we got here. Um, hey, Al Gore Dining's open menu. So, this place, dude, Kyle. You sure, man? Can I click on that? No? All right. Well, the website definitely looks like they're small, <laughs> which is cool. Hole in the wall. But yeah, you'd be surprised. Some of these places that have a really good burger. Like one of the places that um, that supposedly has a really good burger. Uh, and I say supposedly, and I've had it a bunch of times. I'm not sure if it was that great to me. But it was definitely good to enough people that they say like, dude, this is one of the best burgers in San Diego is at the Waterfront Bar and Grill. Oh, they don't ha even have a website. And this is the run, just to, by the way, for those who know, like where I invented the undress was from this run called the Waterfront, um, Ed's Waterfront Run, where we run on the waterfront and we go to the bar and grill after every run. We did that for years. Uh, in downtown San Diego. That's where I, during that run is where I invented the undress, just in that way. So, uh, all right, well, we can't see any waterfront bar and grill burgers. Maybe I can see waterfront. Front bar and grill burger. I don't know what's gonna pop up. <clears throat> oh, well, there you go. Okay, so there you go. There's a picture. I don't remember it being amazing, but these are some good photos. Dude, these photos are way better than <laughs> it looks when you're in there. But uh, there you go. Pretty straightforward. 
but supposedly really, really good. Alrighty then. So there we go. We talked about burgers today. That was fun. That was fun. See, Team Scout was like, down, let's go. Next week. Kyle says, Hodad's okay. Rockies is better. <laughs> this man needs to eat something ASAP. I know. Dude, my appetite was crazy when I used to do a lot of training for running, cycling, and triathlon. I was a madman when it came to training. I would, I, I, dude, I was, I was running ultra marathons, marathons, half marathons, competing in cycling. I was fitter than I think ever. Like, I don't know. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. I could step outside of my doorstep and run 13 miles like it's not nothing. Like, uh, man, those were the days. I'm not doing that now. But my point was, when I was training for the Ironman, my appetite was insane. It was like, my wife's, I think my wife called me a newborn baby or somebody. <laughs> like, every two hours, I had to eat a full meal. Oh. Oh, shoot. Really, Mike? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Mr. Dez, you to cook some of these burgers yourself. Let's go. Corvette Diner, <laughs> come on, anyone. <laughs> they got V8s in there, man. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Max Boost or tacos. Man, tacos are a touchy subject here in San Diego. Unless you live like in maybe LA, but San Diego is hard to beat when it comes to tacos. Otherwise, you go across the border. <laughs> uh, Carl's Jr. is the best. Hawaiian Carl's Jr. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta give her the other one. She saw the other one in the other car. <laughs> Louis like stop. All right, let's do more. Uh, yeah. So yes, it's dope. Love it. I mean, we gotta put in Drake with Drake, dude. Little Max would probably mess with that thing I I immediately, dude. My son would definitely grab that little handy handy thing. Yeah, all of all of this stuff is good. Tastes like murder. I love it. I love it. Funky fries and burgers have a location in El Cajon, National City. Can't remember the third spot. Dang, bro, you remember all this stuff from San Diego? Good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for taking. One taking one for the Max Boost Fam and doing what you did for the Midori this weekend. Don't, yeah, I didn't tell him what parts there were or anything. Just letting you know. Uh, we should do a food car uh, uh, do a car food review. What's a car food review? Like in the car, I'm eating it. Oh, is it that thing where like those guys are eating the burgers inside the car and they're like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. This is horrible. One of those really popular like a year ago or so? That would have been funny, dude. Max Boost Diners Drive-Ins and Dives. Would you think that'd be interesting to watch me eat? Yes, you're gone for an hour, man. And we we just... We're off track, Tim. Without you, dude. Without you. Without you, man. <laughs> Bro, this is like one of the best segments ever. What are you talking about? We're talking about food, man. Getting a bur You're getting a burger right now, dude. How's your diet been, man? Reed, come on, dude. How's your diet been? <laughs> yeah, Mike, when this was happening on Saturday, I was laughing to myself. I was texting her. Rach finally had to go, what the hell are you doing? And I, and I showed her. I showed her the picture of the dude and you and <laughs> your, your, your text. <sighs> Dude, oh my god. See, you like this. You guys like this at What's up, Bone Soldier? Um, yeah, I definitely ate like a newborn baby, dude. <laughs> my wife's like, you're in amazing shape when you were training, which means I'm not now. Yes, I was always hungry. I would have to eat. You know you're not supposed to eat before you go to bed, and it's not because you get fat. There's no proof, dude. I know some scientists, dietitian scientists, not dietitian like guys who know about fat diets and stuff. I'm a dietitian scientist and they told me that has nothing, there's nothing to it. Like, 
and uh and and as far as diets are concerned everybody's built different so what your what your what your heritage is and your your uh, apparently your your dna or whatever makeup uh is very um i don't want to butcher up her stuff that she told me but depends on how your your body reacts to these to these foods so for some people like i guess us asians we can eat carbs all day long like rice and all that stuff you don't see us getting really fat doing that just because i think we've been eating it for a mazillion generations and there's there's things like that she was telling me about i don't know how accurate i am right now but yeah man i, I was always hungry so i had to eat before i slept because if i didn't eat before i slept which was tiring because i was already tired i want to sleep dude and i'm like i gotta eat a meal while training for an iron man I have to eat, go to sleep, because if I don't, I will wake up in like three hours dying of starvation. And I'm so tired, not only because you're tired because it's three in the morning, you're tired because I just did like a two mile swim in the morning, a 56 mile bike ride or a 40 mile bike ride plus a seven mile run all in the same day. You know, and you do those things, do that thing all the way back to back without eating. And then when you're done with that, then you, then I'm just like, oh my God, it's so hard. The, the craziest kind of hungry is like when you're hungry off of Ironman training. And so I have to eat before I sleep, which is, and it got like, really expensive. I'd eat like five days a week. And if I didn't make my own food, uh, five days, five times a day. Man, my whole entire life is on YouTube live. <laughs> if anybody were to know, want to know anything about me, I'll just watch all my YouTube, YouTube lives and they'll learn enough. Oh, there you go. So Pinoy right here gave us a tocino and rice right now. Tocino and rice. That is a cool idea. We should all do a version of it, man. That'd be fun. We put on Max Boost's Max Boost Fam Car Reviews. Who wants to do it? I know Twitch would do this for sure. Come on, Team Scoundrels version. Utah, go to your... There you go. We should do a thing where you like the best burger joint in your city. You go, you eat, and you share with the rest of the world. We'll put on Max Boost. That'd be super cool. And we just do like a little like five minute, four minute thing where you eat it and you tell people about your spot. That could be really cool. Why is my, why does my poster look, look all wrinkled up? That's not cool. How is that doing that? I don't like that. <laughs> Did it get wrinkled up? Somehow. Anyways. And no, I don't have another one of those. Just like the only poster I have of that from Import Fest. <clears throat> oh, he's been keeping up the healthy dot. Been great. Kept up the healthy diet. Walked 10 miles a night? A night to work. Oh, at work. At work. I was like, I thought you were walking to work like five miles each way. <clears throat> Okay, so you're giving a pedometer or something? That's cool. Oh yeah, my wife's favorite is tosi, Tocino, dude. That is like, that's that's the fastest way to her heart. Tocino. Tosilog. Gotcha, gotcha. I found eight small. Why? Oh, uh, last match was Monday because you got Muay Thai sessions. All right. Well, why do you have to do it on a Monday, dude? Twitch? Tell them it's important, man. <laughs> you guys are hilarious, man. <laughs> dude, let's do it. Team Scoundrels. Come on, man. Let's do Max Boost. Max Boost Burgers reviews. Max Boost Burger reviews. So Max Boost, one of his favorite foods could be burgers. Even though he delivers pizzas for Wario's. That could be funny. He doesn't like maybe he doesn't like pizza that much. If Team Scoundrels is here, it's either Blaze, Wicknick, or the other dude. Other dude! Chase is not another dude, man. Chase is the dude. Him and Blaze, yo. Chase is the man. Get it right. I'm gonna erase that right there. That's I'm gonna delete that comment. Don't disrespect Team Scoundrels. It's Chase, bro. He's even the one who does all the marketing and all, like most of the video editing and all that kind of stuff. And the driver. It's him and Blaze that are driving the most. Come on, man. 
Unless it's... What, what, what the heck? I clicked on your comment right here and my wife's p came up. I scoundrels, this is Reed, is that Blazer Wing thing? It's Chase. I bet you it's Chase, right? It's Chase, right? We're gonna do something. Me and Chase are gonna do something. He's, he invited me to do something crazy in January, February, March, April, May. I think it's May. So I got like four months to get ready for it. But it's gonna be a... You heard it here first, the drifting related thing. And I may be driving in a drift car. And you may see me driving for the first time in a drift car with these guys. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm blaming his work right now. <laughs> Uh, oh! See, you guys don't know what kare kare is or tocino, huh? I'm gonna have to educate you guys on some Filipino food right now. Give me a second. So, we're gonna go with tocino. Uh, tosilog. Okay, so this is a traditional Filipino. I'm Filipino for those who do not know um, that I'm Filipino. This is a traditional Filipino dish. Usually in the middle, in the, in, this is one of those, we have a, we tend to eat uh, like one of our we're known for breakfast that has egg rice and a protein and a lot of these times these proteins are sweet in this particular case this is called tosilog and to it's called tosino and then eggs in tagalog is it log so you call it tosilog it's kind of like short and right now i know there's some people on here drooling right now because they know what this is and it's really good it's sweet pork um, I don't know how to describe it you got to eat it but you know when you eat it it's really bad for you and you're slowly dying so you know it's good so this is called tosilog so this is like max boost food food network version right so that's called tosilog just want to give you guys a heads up on that that's really good and they have different versions so something you have tocino you have something called longanisa which is like a sausage which is like a sweet spicy-ish flavored sausage it's called long silog. And you have this version, imagine, with a fried fish called pangos, which is the national fish of the Philippines. Uh, it's called, it's a milk fish. And it's fried a certain way and it's really good. So you, you, one of those three is usually the most popular. Okay. And then one of the things that uh, I think Jen just mentioned, um, spot, is called kare kare. And kare kare is... Uh, definitely a very filipino dish i don't know anything that's uh like it and it's that's close to it in any other culture i don't know if i've really ever had it but uh this, this is kind of a cool photo probably not the most accurate but check this out it's a stew oxtail that's an oxtail in the middle um with some of these green beans um and i guess uh what is it zucchini right stuff like that but but the the, the big thing about it is that the sauce is actually a peanut based sauce like legit peanut butter then there's tripe in here as well you can see the stomach lining right there in the middle people love it i don't do it i can't do it it'll make me yak i only eat the oxtail but this is really good it's called kare kare and if you ever go to a place that's a filipino like far party or family and you ask for this or you see it and you eat it or you like say oh my god i love it kare kare. you you went several levels like cool like Everybody knows, for the most part, knows lumpia and pancit, but most people do not know kare kare, and that's pretty down. That's like another level of like understanding our culture that most people don't have. So if you ask for this, awesome. And if you ever get a chance to try it, you should. It's a creamy, peanut buttery, slightly sweet. I don't know anything else that tastes like this to me, and it's really good. I think it's easy. I think it's easy for like non-Filipinos to eat it. It's not weird. And my my bu building's trying to blow up right now, so. Yeah, so I think the alarm stopped. Yeah, so this is really good. And sometimes it's got brisket in it and stuff like that. So it's called kare kare. K-R-E-R-E. K-K-R-E-K-R-E. Kare kare. Sounds funny. Tastes really good. Um it's not like balut. No, we're not gonna share balut right now. Uh, speak Spanish a little. Muy poquito, señor. I heard from a friend of mine that is Filipino. Some yeah, a lot of a lot of Filipinos understand Spanish and, because we were we were occupied by the Spanish for years, for a long, long time, right? And we also have a lot of Spanish last names. So like, uh, we got we got. What's your last name, Francis? <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, so my mom already said it. My, I guess my mom's talking to my wife right now. Kare kare is an expensive dish to make. Oxtail is expensive. It is. It's, it is. Oh, adobo is really good. That's that's definitely key. Adobo. For sure. Not a complaint. Bro, why don't you ask for some kare kare? Try it. Ask her for something different. So, that's the other thing too. If you want to try to get a little bit more experimental, tell tell them. Filipinos are down to give you something a little crazier if you're if you want it. Um, it's uh, so what he talked about is called uh, adobo. See, I'm just gonna roll with this. It seems like you guys are entertained. We're just I don't uh, yeah we're doing the food thing right now. So hold on, let me tell you uh, a chicken adobo. This is a staple. So this is the this is one of the foods that when you have a Filipino friend and you you come over and you have it and if you've never had it before it's a thing you think about often and people remember it they don't stop like wanting to eat it it's a simple dish but it's very filipino and very good and lots of people that are not filipino really love it it's called chicken adobo it is one of our most popular dishes look at that now most of the time there's no jalapenos on it but it's so simple it is like soy sauce lemon chicken uh, missing something. I'm sure my mom can peep in here. It's cooked a certain way. That skin gets a little crispy, soy saucy, and then you mix that with rice with the sauce. So the sauce ends up becoming like a reduction soy sauce. You throw that on the rice, eat it. It's tasty. So this is another Filipino very famous dish. For many of you, I probably don't have to show you pancit and lumpia because that's so 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 the lumpias are the egg rolls and buns it's the noodles that most people know about and then the third thing most people know about is this adobo dude oh yeah so you can have it as pork you can have it as, as chicken <laughs> vtech academy was good yeah welcome we we dude we went off the chain we went off the tracks right now and we're just talking about food today it started with twitchy's comment about burgers he wanted to we talked about burgers we went to burgers we started talking about burger joints in San Diego. And we're talking about with like Chase from over to Team Scoundrel said we should do a Max Boost burger video review in cool cars. And then I'm like, why don't we all do one? And then we'll put it on Max Boost where you know, like if you guys want to do one, what's a good burger place, you know, in Arizona that you guys can do one out of one of your Hotsport or VTech Academy cars. Go eat it, film it, and then give us the review. Have Brian do it. It'd be hilarious. And we share it with our viewers. And, uh, and over on Instagram, it'd be fun. So we'd do one, I'd do one down here in San Diego, a place, I guess, whatever you guys recommend. Maybe we should do Hodads, because it's just been a long time. Uh, no, Slater's 50-50, I did that PBJ. I did that PBJ. Maybe Mike Servin, I don't know, he's not a vlogger, but whoever's out there, Mike Bush, I know you definitely do it, I think, right? Well, maybe not. <laughs> My uncle used to make a double to like twice a week. It's easy, it's good. Um, there you go, soy sauce and vinegar, and that's it. Soy sauce and vinegar. Okay, I thought there's lemon juice in it, no? Yeah. <laughs> did you see that, guys? <laughs> Yo, did Hodads make it? So did you like Hodads, bro? I gotta go back. I gotta go back. What is going on in the background there? There's an ad. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> the little beach, beach thing. Uh, yes, sir. It sure did. Oh, dad's made it on the list. So, oh man, I'm hungry. Rainbows. What's rainbows, man? In Hawaii? Is that rainbows in, uh, in like Waikiki or Oahu? Oh, wait. No, rainbows isn't. We went there. We went there. Yes. Me and my wife were there. Rach, do you remember this? Um, yeah, we went there. We were there with um, uh, Anne. You remember rainbows? Where is the... Uh, uh, you, you, uh, it was like on the end of the... Um, like the water... Uh, what is that? The water way? I don't know call it i remember this is good this is a comfort food right
menu. Spam and eggs, loco moco. So this is my low key. One of my favorite foods is Hawaiian. It's just a mix of so many things, you know. So they got a burger. Four dollars and seventy five cents, guys. Two hamburger patties, four seventy five. And this is not like a fast food in and out place. This is like a, a there's a few locations, I think. So if you're in Hawaii, man, yeah, so there's like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five locations only. So we've been to this one. Do you remember this, Rach? We were here. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. I was literally sitting right there. We were eating this. Oh, shoot. Annie's. Is it gone? Annie's was a place. Annie's was a place. Man, you know San... That's right. You're from San Diego. Duh. So, you know, yeah. Annie's Fine Burger. I like that joint. They had some good stuff. Is it... Are they gone? Yeah. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron, who's I believe who's online right now, is in SD and Brian is in Arizona. So Aaron drives back and forth between the two, which is crazy. And then Michael Bush is like, I love Hawaiian food. I have close friends who own an authentic Hawaiian bakery and their aunt owns the restaurant next door. We will surely go when you visit. Let's go. I'm down. So yeah, so Carl, you got to do the review, man. You got to do the review. Hawaiian Sea. <laughs> we were out of rice on my noodles at the offset. All the sauce in my food now. <laughs> yeah, see, my wife remembers. That was years ago. Yes, years ago. Oh, Loon Lee says, my favorite. My favorite is lechon. And then Jamal says, a secret in... Uh, yeah, you're right. Like, one day after for a double for me is good, man. It tastes good. Yeah, so this is not a regular. Uh, this is not a regular um, uh, Max Boost Monday, or is it? Is this what we do anyway? We just hang out, talk about stuff. All right, I love in this food thing. You guys are having fun with this, so I just kept talking about it because you know. Oh, what is this? I got a message from my wife right now. Uh. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay, it looks like Annie's is still open. That's a place we could definitely meet up. So Annie's is another place in San Diego. Let me see if I can look it up. Annie's uh, Burger San Diego. Let's go take a look at some of these. So these guys get creative on burgers too. They got a really big menu. Um, aha. They actually have a decent site. I didn't expect that. Who would? There you go. Annie's Fine Burger. Um, so they, they do really creative burgers. I think it's even crazier than this. Whatever's on the wall. Like their wall has a, like, it's one of those places you go on the wall and there's just endless burgers on the wall. I swear it's more than uh, 31 versions. There's more than that. So I got anything crazy. Supposedly this is popular too. Their pastrami burger is really popular. I've heard. Um... But you can get, oh, here's the popular ones. They got a Cali burger, fresh avocado, crisp bacon, Swiss cheese. Sand dune is a battered, thinly sliced onion rings, crisp bacon, cheddar cheese. Le Dude, that sounds good right now. Oh, with smoky teriyaki sauce. What does that taste like? Garlic, garlic mushroom burger, sauteed mushroom, Swiss cheese. They got the Texas, got jalapeno, so you got Tex-Mex, I guess. Pepper jack, cheese, lettuce, hickory sauce. Hawaiian burger for Hawaiian Sea right here. Carl, this is yours. Two grilled pineapple rings. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't do the pineapple thing. So so Max Boost does not like pineapple, okay? Um, Chris, in, in in like pizza or burgers. No, not happening. And so um, tomato, red onion, pickles, smoky teriyaki sauce. Monster burger. Oh, that has pastrami, turkey, bacon. That's pretty nutty. Hangover burger. Okay, what do they eat for a hangover? Potato chips in the burger, crisp bacon, Swiss and cheddar cheese, fried egg, pickle with ketchup and mayo. Man, those all sound good. So, you know, it's a fun little segment. 
Everybody who just joined in here, this is, we normally not, never ever talked about Boog. Oh, the Texas burger is bomb? Nice. Oh, shoot. I didn't know. Uh, Sam, uh, Michael Bush said, can we just take a moment to point out the Honda Acura won the 24? I did not know that. You just spoiler alerted me. Since the Insta GT base is like 30 years ago. So Honda Acura won. Those are our boys. How was that, Mike? You were there, dude. You should have been crying. Well, were you in the hospital when it was finishing? But yeah, we got a round of applause on Acura Honda. Uh, let me see if I can uh, pull something up here. We got to check that out. 24 hours Daytona. No way. That is some good stuff. That is good stuff. Car is so wicked looking. All right. So, yeah, congratulations to Acura Honda. Our, uh, we are licensees and partners with Honda. You guys know we got product coming this year. But um, they won. That's some wicked stuff. Apparently, is this the car? That car looks really clean. Did they just wash it before the photo shoot? They must have. They must have, like, just quickly washed it before the press. But, um, yeah, so apparently Honda Acura won the 24. Sorry if that's a spoiler. Um, I didn't get a chance to check it out. Mike, thank you <laughs> for letting me know. I should have warned myself. Um, but, yes, go Honda, go Acura. Oh, man. Twitch says we have a real Kahuna burger in IB? You sure? Is it a real thing? Like from Pulp Fiction? Right? <clears throat> Got sliders. Man, there's so much food, dude. Yes, sir. VTech Academy. So does this car have VTech or not? <laughs> uh, Black Soul, they're shipping. What, what? And welcome to the, uh, welcome to the uh, stream, bro. Thank you for leaving a comment. Max Boost Volume 2s are shipping slowly but surely. They're shipping in batches, okay? It's not like it's the way they do it. All right. The burgers ain't no joke. Where is Sliders? We want to know. It was amazing. Sadly, I didn't get to see the finish in person because he was in Halifax. But yeah, Wayne Taylor Racing won third straight after switching to the ARX. Oh, this guy, they, that, I mean, that team won three straight Daytonas, 24s? They, they, and the story is that they didn't have the car until two weeks ago. Is that sure? I mean, is that is that what I'm reading here? See, I don't know. I didn't know anything about going up to do this. So the the 24 hour endurance came down to the final hour with five teams still contending for the overall victory. Um. Oh, Helio Castro Neves was driving this car. The five contenders, after 23 hours of driving, were 30 seconds apart. Wow, that's legit. Let's see, what else we got here? So, um, yeah, okay, I didn't know anything about, um, it doesn't say anything about there, but hey, that's amazing, if that's the case. Super dope. So the motor is based off the new NSX's uh, 3.8 liter twin turbo. Cool, man. Fast TV. Uh, sliders is in Chula Vista. There's also one in Pacific Beach. That's the one I know where is the one in Chula. That's where I, that's where you are. Huh? Right on, man. So you're in San Diego too, Black Soul. That's cool. Yep. And Acura took fourth as well. Just missed the podium. That would have been cool. Double podium. I know, COVID, man. It's making me feel like psh, COVID sucks. <laughs> we could be doing so much. Eh, it's what it is. It's what it is. All right. That's amazing, dude. So, yeah, so... You know, I the last night talking about racing, I want to tell you guys something that I talked to you about with my wife that she wasn't aware of and that I haven't really told anybody, but I'm going to tell you now. And, and Chad might be listening too. Chad race, you know, he, he's on the track with me a lot. Uh, Sam, Sam, you're up there. 
Uh, we've got Automotive Jesus right here. He just came up. What's up, AJ? Welcome to the stream. Anyways, yeah, so I'm just moving on to the next thing that I was talking about was I want to let you guys know something. I'm going to tell you guys in the family because I don't think anybody else is listening. No one else is watching. No one's going to be on this stream at this point. Dude, am I almost two hours into this stream? We talked about food the whole time. <laughs> Man. Dude. Anyways, um, yeah, I, 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 I'll tell my wife, I was like, dude, I'm going to be doing it. I'm, I'm going to try. Uh, obviously, I have a lot of priorities in my life and things I have to do. But one of the things I want to do is I want to be on the track as much as possible this year. So um, I really want to perfect my craft at the track. I want to get better. I want to get faster. Um, I don't exactly suck. So it's always been one of these things I wish I had started when I was younger. And I always thought that I could probably have done pretty well. And I, and I, I do well. And I've, you know, I'm rookie of the year and I've won stuff and all of this. And um, so I'm happy about it. But I haven't really pursued much of it in 20 years. And one of my dreams is, and I think you guys may or may not know this, uh, but I'm wanting to make it like official, like I'm not getting younger. So it's one of those things where I want to eventually get to a point where I am driving professionally on TV um, and hopefully in a max boost car. And I want that to happen someday. But in order to do that, I think I need to get going. So what that means by get going is I need to get one on the track a lot. Number two, I need to start competing again. So I need to get wheel to wheel. And so that's straight up wheel to wheel racing, not not eight not not just performance track driving events like straight up wheel to wheel and so i'm gonna get so here's a little bit of announcement for the max boost midori max boost midori is going wheel to wheel racing in about two weeks on uh valentine's weekend i'm going to be part of i'm going to be instructing the racing certification school so part of that racing certification school is we get these people that have been qualified to be ready to be in the racing certification school. So just letting you know, you can't just get a racing license. You have to qual you have to move up. Then you get a racing license at NASA. Um, I'm instruct I instruct that group. It's, a, it's been the first time in a while that I've been able to uh, instruct in that group. And I am gonna take the car out there with the students. And the, it, they're, they're not just regular students. These guys are advanced drivers. Obviously, that's why they're being in their race school. And then we're talking about full-on race cars. So you guys are going to see in a couple of weeks or whenever I do this video, you're going to see Max Boost Midori, which is not a race car, in the mix, in races. We do mock races. They're real races. Like, you're literally racing. But we call it mock races because there's no winning. There's no – it's it's for the school. So we're going to go door-to-door. -door, and we're going to be racing the Max Boost Midori Civic in about two weeks. So next Max Boost Monday, hopefully, you'll hear that the car is actually ready to go. Because it's not. It's in pieces right now. And um, and I'm going to try to get another set of GoPros so you can see the front and the back of the car and the craziness that's about to ensue in this racing school. And so what happens is in the racing school, we do exercises throughout the day. Then towards the end of the day, we do mini races so it's the green flag starts checkered flag then we do it again green flag starts checkered flag i mean it feels like a real race it's just a super super short sprint race but it's still a race and you still fight for turn one and the first few, and the craziest laps of any race is usually the first two or three laps anyway so you just get this it's it's insane so we have i think over 40 something uh competitors so far students so far so which means that the grid's probably going to have somewhere close to 55 to 60 something cars. The Max Boost Civic is going to be one of them. And I'm going to be in that car, hoping everything's good. It's been a long time. So I have not gone wheel to wheel with people competitively in a really long time. It's going to be at Willow Springs Raceway and we're going to do it. So it's going to be the first time Max Boost goes wheel to wheel. It's going to be crazy in, a long, in that Midori Civic. It's going to be nuts. So um, you're invited to come out on willow springs raceway on uh february 13th 14th yes i am aware that is valentine's day on sunday so i'm still trying to figure that out <laughs> with my wife um but you know and so we're sorting that out but uh but saturday it's a it's a saturday and sunday thing and i'm looking forward to it so that's going to be the first start and then from there, I'm going to start competing. Um, Chad has invited me to do time attacks with his um, with his Mustang. So I'll be able to drive something high horsepower and then also competitively. Um, I'm assuming that invitation is still open with uh, Chad. We, well, I, I pretty much assume it. We're, we've been talking about it for a long time. So he'll be driving the Mustang during the HPDEs. And then I'll be driving that Mustang once in a, once in a while in a time attack, try to lay down some times. And we'll see how bad I do or how good I do. 
And on top of that, I'll be driving the Midori. And on top of that, I'll probably be doing a time attack in a separate car, like one of the Civics too. So I'll do front wheel drive and rear wheel drive time attack and also wheel to wheel racing, potentially in the same weekend and instructing at the same time. So it's going to be busy, um, but we're not messing around. And um, so I think in order to get to the place where I'm driving on TV, especially like one of the places I want to drive is for GT World Challenge to go straight into it. I don't care if I'm last place. I don't give a crap. I want to be on like in it. Um, I don't care how I get there kind of thing. But if we can if we can if I can get there one day and just do it, um, that's that's like the first place I want to start. And um, and we know the guys over at GT World Challenge, obviously. <laughs> Um, Greg is a big Max Boost fan and, uh, and Robbie as well and known Robbie from for 20 years. And, uh, and there's a chance, there is a chance and there's just, I just got to try. I just keep going for it. So it's going to take a few years though. I mean, it's not like I'm ready in three months. It's not ready. I don't think I'd be ready in a year. It'd be, you know, it feels like it would take at least two to three years to get, to get ready. And then I would also have to find a ride. I'd have to get, I'd have to figure out how to get into the competition with a funded team or something like it, we got to figure it out. So I don't know. <clears throat> my, my gut said something like Michael Bush is going to jump in here somehow. Oh, sit, see, <laughs> my, Michael Bush is like, hey, I told you I wasn't messing around. Michael Bush. I can already tell he's going to say, whatever, dude, let's freaking do this. Whatever we got to do. Oh man, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, me and Ryan, man, let's go. I'll race a car with him. That'd be so crazy. He races, you know, like who cares? Like, let's go. So, what you guys, what you guys think about that? Um, let's see. Uh, you guys have anything to say about that? Yeah. So, this is a bucket list challenge for sure. Oh, um, we got to look over your first uh, thing. He says, "Oh, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Francis. Appreciate that." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't be tooling around with Gran Turismo 7. Yeah, I'm doing it for realsies, man. For realsies. Ma Thank you, Cycling Magician. Do you do crits, Cycling Magician? Did you compete on Cycling? I competed on... This is cr criteriums are uh, basically racing for cycling uh, cyclists. Um, I used to do that, and that was, that was crazy, man. Um. Keep the week of 24th July free from planning. <laughs> I wish, dude. I really want to, man. But this COVID thing is serious. VTech Club, I know I got your support, man. And you got mine. But we got to do it, man. Let's make it happen. Max Boost driver in a Max Boost car on TV is like the goal. One day, man. One day. Oh, shoot. I'm here February 13th, I'm there, dude. <laughs> oh, wait. You live near Willow Spring. Freddy, dude. Let's hook up. Let's do it, man. Get in. Uh, the f entrance fee to Willow Springs is very simple. It's like 10 bucks or 15 bucks to get onto the track. They just need you. You pay that to get a band to pay for insurance. It's like insurance. There's an insurance policy there. So you just get this little band. Now, here's the crazy part. Freddie, dude, if you make it out to the racetrack, there is a chance that I could get you uh, as a passenger in a car if you want to be in it. And maybe me and you get in the car. We yuck it up and we talk and I spin you around in the Max Boost Midori, dude. There may be a chance. There may be a crazier chance, since I'm an instructor, that I could get you in the passenger side during a wheel-to-wheel -wheel race. That never happens. You'll never get a chance to do that. But if you come out, maybe we can make something like that happen. If I feel safe enough, if I feel like the students are good, if I feel like I'm okay and I can have you in there, you might experience something you've never experienced in your life, dude. It'll freak you out, dude. Um, so come on out. Hey, man, Taylor Hagler made the jump from TC America to IMSA TCR, so it's possible. I'll take either one of those, dude. <laughs> we could also look into HBD SI. They were for sale. I didn't, didn't they have some uh, SIs for sale for like? Oh no, that was a different. That was a. I think the Hyundai. Anyways, race cars are for like eighty grand or something. Yeah, man. So um, you want to you want to race Dennis or do you want to race Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Yes, sir, Chad Richardson, Dennis, and Scarlet for the win. So the name of uh the Mustang is Scarlet. <clears throat> and uh Scarlet for the win. And Scarlet is awesome. I keep thinking about it, man. That Chad's car, that Mustang has been super reliable for the track. It's good. It's a really good thing. So I can't hit on Mustangs, man. I'm literally competing in them uh with Chad. So 
We'll see. This year, it's going to be... Oh, wait, I'm not. Chad. Chad, you're going to be at Chuckwalla. The first time attack of the season is at Willow Springs. Both NASA events are at the same time. I am gonna. I have to be at Willow Springs because of instruction. I have to instruct there. I forgot. You're going to go. You just told me you're going to go to Chuckwalla for two weekends. I didn't... It didn't dawn on me right now until I realized you're going to Chuckwalla for Arizona's, uh, NASA Arizona. Chuckwalla, uh, Willow Springs is on Sunday uh, for, uh, Saturday, Sunday for uh, Willow Springs for, for SoCal. SoCal's at Willow Springs. It sucks. I know. They combine the two weekends together. It's uh, overlapped. I mean, oh, man. Uh... <laughs> yeah, dude. Good job, dude. <laughs> I was gonna call this for my grammar. AJ, what's up, man? Um, so yeah, AJ, I didn't tell him about the thing you were making yet because I don't. I didn't tell him anything about what would happen this weekend. So AJ knows what I was doing this weekend with Mike. They don't know the two things that we were getting. But you, but if you look at AJ's AJ's comment, you might get a hint. Dang it. We revealed it, AJ. You didn't know. You started late. So just letting you know, they didn't know about it. They don't know anything about it. I was going to tell them about what you were doing. But if I told them what you were doing, they would get it. So now they might get it. They might know what's going on. You wear a fire jumpsuit. <laughs> Dude, you definitely get it. You, if you come out in a fire jumpsuit, man, I'm going to give you props, bro. When is the last time I saw you, Freddy? 2001, two, three. If you come out, man, that'd be cool to see you, dude. So, um, anyways, there you go. We're gonna go. We'll make some stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I didn't tell him that. It's a surprise right now. I didn't want to tell him what we're doing or the other part we got that they don't. They don't know any about that. So, so yeah, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Ah, uh, see, AJ, you want to go to Europe and race in Europe? You can. You got to get the license, though. <laughs> no, but I just straight up posted it. I probably, yeah, I didn't post that other one, but people are going to look. Dude, since the last race, that's 2001, bro. Dang, man. All right, it'd be good to see you, man. Let's go. So, yeah, so I just want to share that little bit of news. It's like, yeah, I'd like to do that. Obviously, I have to have support from my family and my, you know, and everybody and everything has to work out. Uh, I got to do it on a budget um, and, uh, you know, and work together with people to try to make that happen and just get the track time in and then figure out how to get there and what it's going to cost to do it and see if I can get sponsors. Like, it's it's a big deal, but you got to roll, right? You got to do it. Or we just make a bazillion dollars in max boost because it gets blown up by Netflix or something. And then I'd like, yay. You know. Oh, shoot. AJ said, sign him up, Yannick. There you go, man. You got a co-driver right now for uh, for July in uh, Belgium somewhere. AJ, you go. You got to get a license first, though. That's the that's the that's that's a tricky part. So you have to kind of go through me. <laughs> you got to get licensed. And you can't just jump into a licensing school. Um, I don't know if there's anybody that does it where it's like you just like randomly go in with no experience. No, you got to kind of have years of experience. People have to know who you are and, you know. Um... Yes, sir, man. Luis, you're on the West. You're, you're at, it's 1030 at, in Florida. Thank you for coming out, man. Good to see you. Go Tampa. Oh, shoot. You guys are going to Super Bowl, right? Wait. Yeah. Super Bowl, <laughs> Tampa Buccaneers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? Dang, good stuff. I, I haven't watched any football at all. I'm like out. I don't watch anything. All I do is work, dude. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Yannick's like, watch out, brother. We're serious about it. Yeah, hey, well, AJ, don't mess around, dude. Yes, man. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for jumping in, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad you guys had fun. So, um, yeah, I mean, what else is there to talk about? But, um, oh, what was that? Oh, let's go check out, uh, let's go check out Fast uh, TV. Let me go load that up real quick. So, we're going to check out Fast TV. It's one of our uh, Max Boost fans. 
uh, newest YouTube channel. Go check them out when I pop it up. Let's go look a little bit at um, one of his uh, episodes. Obviously, you can go over there and watch it. He's got one episode up with that 1971 skyline. Oh, it's Javier. He's on the on the front. Let's go. Uh, let me show you guys. Share with you my screen. Give me a second. So Fast TV, go join these. Dude, He's he, this is his dream, man. He just launched it. We got to support him. He's got a 16-minute first video. I think this, it's the uh, birth of a legend in 1971 Nissan. Skyline. Crazy. Did they have GTRs back then or no? No, right? There's no GTRs in 71. It was just Skylines. And then he's got Fast TV, Rude Boys, USA, first cruise of the year. So there's a car cruise right there. And I think I see a CRX. Wait, is that a CRX right on the front? The thumbnail. And then we got Fast TV's, TV, Lupe Supra makes 1,000 horsepower. There you go. So uh, let's take a look at his first episode a little bit. I don't know how much I could show Javier because YouTube is yeah, you just they always cut stuff out. And then here's an ad, of course. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you guys... I don't know what's going on. So... So I, I have no idea if you can hear him or not. So is, uh, can you guys hear him? I have no idea when I play this thing. Okay, 72 was the first GTR. Cool. Oh, wait, 69? Okay, so there was a 69. Wow. So this is, uh, so I'm just going to try to play it. I don't know if it's working, guys. Can you guys hear it? Let me know. Can someone confirm? Okay, so there's no sound. I have no idea why there's no sound. All right, so. All right, so I'm just going to have to show you guys a little bit of what I'm seeing. You guys probably hear a little bit of it in the background. I don't know why it's not working. I have no idea. But you guys can come check him out over at Fast TV. Um, and he's telling a story about... I'm sure the 71 skyline. Let's see if we could take a look. This is Tavier is out of Florida, if I remember correctly. Where is? There you go. So I guess the car was in the film. Look at that. That's dope. Yeah, it's GTR. <laughs> Got the ladies over here. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm telling you. They still they still do those, like, bikini girls at these events right now? I guess in Florida. That's sick. FJ. So this is the skyline from Fast and the Furious, right? That's some wicked stuff, dude. That's dope. That's great. I love it. So this is Fast and the Furious? 
I, I haven't I haven't watched episode five. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this actor is right here. I have no clue. No. Uh, uh. Let's see. Oh, sick. So the Brazil is a favela. It almost looked like favela. That's Brian. <laughs> Where are these guys? Oh man. Oof. Dude, it's, I'm, I'm sure it's, Javier's got a really cool story. I can tell he's got a cool story of how the film happened and trying to get the car together and all of that. It's, it's, it, it, this looks like, is that, did you take some, did you take some, um, cell phone camera footage of them that's kind of cool but anyways yeah so javier is like uh um <clears throat> oh this is fast furious five is tokyo is tokyo drift isn't tokyo drift third three i don't know <laughs> uh yeah, sorry, man. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't have audio. But anyways, just giving you an example. It sounds really cool. It sounds like Javier is talking about how he built this car, all the things that went you know, in, in, crazy in the project, trying to get it done by a deadline, getting into a film, and getting it in there and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, that's really interesting. So, yeah, I think it's a, a what a 16-minute video. Go check it out over at Fast TV. And sorry it doesn't work. I don't know find out why the system audio isn't working right now. Um, but that's how it goes, right? I I don't know why he wouldn't play that. The dream scenario would have five of the influencers on the cover of uh, the influencer cover and they're racing that eight hour. <laughs> I don't think there's one person on that influencer cover from, um, from Max Boost Influencers that has anywhere close to a racing license. I believe I am the only one and probably the only people that drive the most outside of that. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Dai Yoshihara. Sorry. I forgot. Dai. Um, maybe Matt Field. I don't know if he just does drift. He's got a license of some sort, I'm sure. Uh, and I'm sure they would let him drive. And then we've got, uh, I think the next people that drive would be Chase and Blaze. And I don't think Chase and Blaze have wheel-to-wheel -wheel a license. But, you know, they're probably not Scott Pippen. What is that? skip and jump or whatever from getting one uh, i don't know if they they do that or not so um cool gregory's got the skyline uh in sitting on his desk that's awesome that's a little bow wow he's not an actor he's an artist <laughs> yeah cool it's such a beautiful car them girls are blocking my view <laughs> that's cool fred just subscribed yeah go check him out guys Support his dream, man. This is a dream to get his YouTube channel going. So, all right, man. What a crazy. This is a crazy. Yeah, man. I I told you this show's gonna be a little different. Didn't I tell you from the beginning? Didn't I say that this this show, if it's even a show, I don't know. What called, but this this live stream is gonna be different. I said it and I meant it. We went through. We we talked about food. We talked about getting Francis some tires. We got, we talked about, uh, what else? Other stuff, man. Um, what else? We had Sam. Was there anything left? Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't, I, I, yo, I was supposed to read an episode of Max right now. Uh, <clears throat> am I supposed to? Let's do it next week, dude. I'm hungry now. <laughs> And by that time, you guys will probably get uh, some of you guys or most of you guys might have the Max Boost books already. So um, anyways, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just like, whew, let me tell. Uh, can I tell you a little bit more about the weekend then instead? I don't think we're I don't know if I want to do. Does anyone want to do a, a contest giveaway? Do we got to do one right now? Can we just like chill, talk about food and chill out? <sighs> um, I'm kind of feeling a different like I'm in a different mood. So, um, anyways, what was I going to say, oh, so, oh, I wanted to give, give you guys an update on the SI. So, um, you guys saw the SI photo and the current, do I have a current photo of the SI? Let me see. 
So the great thing is we got to say thank you to Cartoon for finishing the car. So it was the first time I actually, we finished the car. Do I have any photos of it? I don't think I have a photo of it. See, I'm not that guy. Like, I get a car and I don't just start taking pictures of it and showing everyone. Yeah, that's funny. I don't have a picture of the car in current form. <laughs> I suck at social media, guys. Um, let's see. Maybe I can show this video. Let me share this video with you guys so you guys see it. It's like a quick video. Uh, I don't know what I say in this video, so um, warning. I have no idea what I say, if I say anything. And let's see if it even works. So let's see, download, that should be it. Here it is. Yay. It's the car. It's all done. This is me coming out of AAA and I getting registration done. Oh, that was it. Cool. Let's play it again. I'm super stoked, though. Thank God. This project is... I hate that horn. Does anybody know how to turn that freaking horn off? I hate that beep. I hate that beep. So, oh, there's that little piece on the steering wheel. That's like one of the worst things on the car. They, there's a... Fender needs to get a, a, a little bit of paint, but other than that, for the most part, this car is mint. It is good. It's only got 77,000 miles on it. And the K series that Cartoon installed what, is running perfect. Transmission is perfect. The BC coilovers that are in it, thankfully, are not blown. They were good. Got some new wheels on there um, that were uh, different than the Acura stocks that were in there originally. I washed the car. We put the spoiler on, fixed the headlights. Um, I took off the front lip, and we're going to fix that lip because I, uh, I got a new lip, and it's getting painted, and we're going to install that. Um it uh it wasn't it wasn't looking uh great obviously so we got a new lip painting it and i inhaled a lot of primer uh, <laughs> uh so this car is going to be done like it's going to be ready to go it is trackable completely trackable except for the wheels and tires i don't have yet i'm trying to figure out what size wheels and obviously i'm gonna get some falcon tires for the car um i want some 660s so i want a separate set of 660 tires for the car and uh, let me put a, a picture of the car back up the other one that I had. This is before the, this picture was. I think is it this one? Which photo was it? Yeah, this was a before before. And this one is this one's probably better. Yeah, so um yeah, so this is it getting a line. It's still dirty at the time, didn't have the spoiler and everything, but um it's track ready. I like I think I told you guys what I'm most excited about is that this thing is almost the, as new as you could possibly make it. The interior looks brand new. The motor is, uh, even though it's a, a second motor, that motor is like, I think, 90,000 miles or so. So still under 100,000. And it is in great condition. Um, and I changed, we changed the, we changed a lot of stuff like the water pump, the water, uh, the, the thermostat, uh, brand new upgraded oil pump for RSX Type S. We got that oil pan baffle for the oil pan. We did new plugs, you know, valve adjustments, um, went through the suspension. Uh, we've got, uh, I've got new, the rear um, camber kit on the rear was really bad. So I replaced it with a spherical um, uh, rear camber arms. Uh, everything else is good. New Hawk brake pads, uh, bled all the fluid to Motul. The car is very track ready, just needs some wheels and tires. I'll track it just like this for sure. But um, with these wheels and tires, I will destroy the tires. But if I can get some track tires, it'd be good to go. I'd like to get this thing ready for... The Willow Springs weekend, so I can bring this car and the Midori out together. I think it'd be really cool. Um, partially is because if anything goes wrong with the Midori, at least I have a car to drive. <laughs> you never know. That's what happens when I got to deal with these cars. It's like I got to bring two just to not waste the weekend because it really sucks when you go out to a racetrack weekend for two days. I'm instructing and one of my car dies. And then what do you do? You sit there for two days instructing, but you get no benefit of being able to go to the track. So um, that's it. And there's a couple of things we need to do on it. Um, in particular, right now, we got to figure out why I can't get enough camber in the front. Uh, and so we got to figure that out. There's a little things here and there. And then I just want some wheels and some tires. And this thing's going to be good to go. These things are really fun. So um, there she goes, man. Yeah, so I don't know.
I hate that beep. I hate, like, this is the best video I got of this car right now. This is all I got. I don't know what that is. I hate that beep. So, um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta fix that thing on the right with some Gorilla Glue or something, just to try to get it better. Uh, but it peeled off sitting for like two years or three years. Ooh, there we have a Max Boost Volume One giveaway, dude, on my Mike Mike um, Mike Servin's Instagram. Let's go over there. He's giving one away. If you haven't followed him yet, you gotta check him out. Um, one dot eight. There you go. So he's got a giveaway right now. Tell your friends. Let's see. Tell your friends. You can win one. Dude, we got a gold book right there? Oh, snap. You're giving away a gold book. I just noticed that. I don't know why I didn't notice that earlier. That's dope. So uh, I think the rules are you got to leave a comment or something. You got to follow me, follow them, follow Max Boost, and do all this other stuff. And then you get a chance of winning. Ooh, Art of Attacks right there, dude. What's up? Yeah, SoCal part out. Auto cannon. <laughs> Eggy's in there, yo. What's up, Jenny? Jenny's in there. You guys are at Danny's up in here. Representing. Thank you. All you guys. You guys are dope. And there's more, right? There's, yeah, there's more. more. Cool. Yeah. So... I should share it again. I don't know if I can do it from here. Can I do it? Nope. Can't. All right. Next time. All right, let me see. You need a windshield sticker on that Civic. <laughs> it's a Virgin sticker. A Virgin Civic needs a sticker. <laughs> yeah, man. And Wes joins at the very end of the show. What's up, man? Um... Dealer, oh, you noticed the dealer plate on the SI, right? Yeah. Yep, I had a dealer plate because um, I want I wanted to drive it around, and I had to go to LA to go meet up with Mike. And it's not registered yet, and the sticker the, the sticker on the car is three years old, the registration sticker, right? So I didn't want to get immediately towed or pulled over. So Cartoon hooked it up. He gave me a dealer plate. Uh. No, I says come home. We have yummy food. You got to check out Galaxy Burger. Post it on the FB page. All right. I don't know, man. I'm feeling super lazy, kids. Super lazy. Do we have to do a giveaway or anything? Are we good? Let's see. Galaxy Burger. Galaxy Burger. In Cerritos. Hey, four and a half stars. Let's go. All right. We'll end the night with a food thing. Um, cooking up your new crit. Galaxy Galaxy Burgers, really? There is, oh, drop down, menu. Oh, shoot. That's a lot of burgers, or pictures at least. You sure? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They got four and a half stars, though. Okay, so on Yelp. So it's got to be. But I'm snelling Denny's over here and a little bit of McDonald's. So these burgers are bomb, huh? Five seventy nine for the burger. Nine fifty nine for the combo. Seven or seven seventy nine for a half pound hamburger. Cheeseburger eight fifty five. Dude, I'm gonna get a burger. I know. I'm sorry, wife. Do you want a burger? I'm going to get one. I'm out. I'm out. I'm hungry. <laughs> I seriously am hungry. I think I can't do any more of the show. I'm like really hungry right now. I'm done. It's been two hours. Check my messenger. Um. Okay. We're just lollygagging over here. Sorry, guys. If you guys are. Dude, I'm hungry. 
I don't have anything in Messenger right now. Oh, is it for Max Boost? I don't know. Oh, wait. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's bad. That's bad for you. Okay, we'll show that. Fred Reed wanted me to introduce this to you. It looks like a grilled cheese sandwich on top of a burger on top of a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> there you go. That's good. Oh, Galaxy Burger in Texas. I don't know, man. Oh, shoot. You're in the UK, Initial Daz? How did I miss that? Yay, we got another... European initial does and uh, and um, obviously Yannick. Everyone in Europe's close together, right? <laughs> Anyways, have a good night, man. Thanks for hanging out at one in the morning or two in the morning every every time you're out here, dude. That is awesome. Get boigas. Me too. I'm dude. I'm done. Is that okay? Can I give away two? Uh... Wait, you got a burger? You got a? How did I get? How did you get a burger? Uh, I want a burger. All right. Sorry, man. I'm calling it a night. We've been talking about food this whole time. I'm, like, hungry. I had no idea how this Max Boost Monday would go. But I do want to tell you, like, this week and this last week and then this next week that's about to happen is going to be pretty epic. I think you guys are going to trip out. And it's funny that we go through all this stuff and only, like, 30, 40 people know about it. That's not true. A hundred something people watch these live streams at some point. So I don't know. Maybe they get entertained. They're going to trip out on this episode, though. But wait until you see what we're doing with the Midori and some other projects that we're doing and the other stuff that we're doing. And the stuff that we did that we had Mike do. And the stuff that AJ's doing. And the stuff that we're doing. And, and the stuff we're going to do with Chad on the racetrack. And getting that Midori out to the racetrack is going to be hilarious. I think it's going to be the funniest thing. By the way, that Willow Springs is a horsepower racetrack. And we don't got horsepower. So it's going to be fun. Anyways, yeah, let's plan that. So DJ After Dark, Freddy. Let's try to see if we can... I don't know, post something so we can get some people together to go out to that weekend. If you guys want to meet up, say hi. At the racetrack, it'd be fun. And you can meet the Midori. And when you see the Midori at the racetrack on that weekend, I promise you, if everything goes right this week, it's going to look a little different. A little different than what you've seen. Man, I got to share this on social media. More people need to enjoy this. But anyways, love you guys. Appreciate you guys. I know I got to get out of here. So talk to you guys later. Peace. Have fun. Love you guys. Late.